Hello, welcome back to AJM Learn. Today, I'm going to show you how to add a pricing table to your Squarespace site. I'll show you two different ways. So, first, doing it built in right on your Squarespace site using shape blocks, text blocks, all of that. And then my favorite option, which is using a widget, which is really a lot easier and much more customizable. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to click subscribe and let's get started. Okay, so first, I'm here in my crazy sandbox site. So, you know, ignore how nuts it looks. So let me just add a blank section and we'll get started from here. So when I create these pricing tables, so let's start with shape. Typically, let's, for ease of the video, I'll make the background uh, like a light gray. <clears throat> no, lies. I'll do dark. That's kind of my website theme. All right, cool. So I'll start with, let's say we want three columns. So I'll just start in the middle. I've got my shape box. So like depending on your brand, I like to round the corners, just makes it feel, I don't know, more complete. So I'll start there. Let me make this white. So just starting by building your shape blocks. I like to do it kind of like this. So layering them. So I'm adding another one. And here, I'm going to click here, only round the top and keep the bottom edges not rounded. And then let me grab like one of my brand colors really quick. So let's say, I'll come over here, make this teal. So. As you can see, I rounded the top corner so it matches the box behind it, but then kept these unrounded just to give it that kind of polished look. Next, add some text. So I'm gonna put the text box, this will be kind of my title right over here. So let's call this like pricing plan. That's fine. That's too big. I also have like a random font happening because this is where I choose my monthly fonts. Okay, so that's not too bad. You can play around with the thick, you know, if you want it to be a bit thicker, taller, whatever. One other thing I always suggest is, especially if you're, if this is longer, right? Like pricing plan, I don't know, let's say three. It's like, okay, that's like really close to the edge. I like to come into the text box, do the fill, turn on background, and then just make the back, you have to, it's kind of weird. You have to choose one and then make it transparent. Make it transparent, but I'm doing this so I can add some padding. And you can adjust this as needed, but basically just adding some padding to the top and the bottom and the left and the right of that text box so that it doesn't, you know, get so close to the edge and then adjust the color as needed. So that's one option. So, all right, let's call it pricing plan. Next, this is where you just kind of, I don't know, get creative, add stuff as you need. So here, Again, for this one, I would definitely, so let's, you know, pretend we have a feature here, make it kind of long. Maybe I want to center that. It's not terrible, but, you know, if you start actually putting real words in here, it gets really close to the edge. So again, just to keep everything super streamlined, I like to always add these fills, make it transparent, and then play around with the padding as needed. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, depends on how you wanna do this, like if you have equal amounts of text in each, but I like to vertically center things, and let me just kind of copy some text. So let's say these are our features. Now this is the downfall of doing this built in like this, is you're kind of just using what's available to you with the text tools. So we could add bullets, but you can see how it doesn't look great when it's left just, when it has the padding and when it's left, uh, not left justified. That's okay, I don't hate it, but it's not the best. All right, so I would maybe go something like this. Um, you can always utilize maybe a line. I'm not gonna go in and like style this right now, but you would obviously go into your styling panel, change the color of the line. So maybe you have like some intro text. So intro text here. And then maybe you jump into your features. So let's copy this, move the line for now. Oops. 
it's hard to like get these layers that you need. And, you know, maybe the line is something like that. So maybe you have your intro text, maybe that's bold, et cetera. You can of course style as you want. Your features are here and then make the box a little longer and add your button. That could be like by now. Again, this is my sandbox site, so nothing's really styled beautifully. Um, I would of course make this button look a little nicer. Um, but yeah, that's a great way to do just kind of like a built-in pricing plan. And then from here, you can highlight everything and just duplicate it, move it over. So now, you know, you have your three options. And then another thing I like to do is, let's say, I'm just gonna move this over for a sec. Let's say this one is like our, I'll just make it like a different color. This is our featured one. Let's say we really want people to notice this one. I'll kind of take the whole thing and you'll see this in the widget. They do kind of a similar effect um, that looks, you know, a little more polished, but, and maybe make this one slightly bigger. And then from there, you know, maybe this one actually has more features to fill the space, something along those lines. You can kind of make one stand out like that. Um, plenty of other options from here. If you, like right now I'm using this black background. If I wasn't, you can come to your shape box. You can add drop shadows. Um, you can add a stroke around them. So let's see if we wanted to do this. <laughs> Colors are about to get crazy, but you can, you know, keep going as needed there. Make sure you round the corners as mess, you know, to match. Um, but yeah, that's how I would add it manually. And then now I'll show you how to set it up on a, using a widget. Okay, so for the widget, I have that open here in my other tab. When you land here, I have this all linked in the post. You'll see these few template options. So pricing grid, columns, comparison table, service plans. Just choose the one that makes the most sense for what you're trying to do right now, but you can edit this later. So the one I just showed you built in is kind of more like this. You can already see this one has a lot more kind of features to it. I mean, you could, of course, with the one we just built, um, you know, you could, of course, like add a photo, you know, you can move, move this up, move all this down. You get the point and you could totally add an image in here or wherever you need it. Um, play around with all those options, but here they're more built in and obviously it looks a little more professional. So choose, this is kind of more along the lines of what we built. All right, choose the one that makes the most sense. I'll start with this one, continue with this template. Um, then you're gonna choose, you have a lot of options here. So what's cool is you can actually do multiple table mode. And what that means is you can, people can toggle between these. So I could add a whole other table that's like build daily, let's call it. And I can add that whole other table. I can move it to the beginning. And then people will be able to toggle between the three. So let's refresh because it's lost itself. But yeah. Oh. Yeah, you can add those as needed, toggle between them, which is really cool. So if you don't need two tables, you know, you can just turn that off, just have the one. But within here, so let's say within the build monthly table, you come in here, you can name it, you can add a caption, and then you can add your columns and your columns have that title caption here and these features. What's nice about these features it are these, they're very clearly separated with these lines, look super professional. Um, it, it just stays really, really nice and neat and clean. And you can add features as needed here, change the pricing all down here, um, change the text of the button, the link to the button, etc. Photo is here, You there. I'll show you later where you can get rid of the photo or any other feature if you don't want it. And then featured column is here. So right now we have two featured columns turned on, um, but that's kind of that standout column. So right now it's on for standard. Here's what it would look like if we turned it off. So go through, edit this as needed. Um, trying to think if there's any other, I mean, you can, you can add columns. You definitely don't need just three. So you can add columns as needed there as well. Over in layout, this is where if you're like, okay, I don't know if I chose the right like template, you can kind of click between these and get a different feel if you want to play around with the spacing. And then this one would have that sidebar. So play around with that if you need. 
And here's where you would turn that photo off. So if you're like, no need for that, let's just, you know, have a basic one, totally cool, get rid of the button, anything that you want to do there. And then lastly, the appearance, the fun part, of course. So like, I always come in here, uh, use the dropper, come in here and drop my hex code for my brand, but we can just choose colors for now. And you'll see it kind of has, like it's called a skin. It, it creates, it puts that primary color kind of over everything we did. You can switch between looks here, which is really nice. Um, like this one's kind of nice with the outline. And then you can get more detailed. So within there, you can change, you know, colors of toggles and the column, turn the column border on and off. You can change the title colors, fonts, etc. cetera. Um, the ribbon here, you can change the color of that. All of that's there. And then if you know how to do it, you can add custom CSS. And then finally, you're gonna go to add to website for free. You would continue with whatever it is you're using. I'm not gonna log all the way in, but continue with the email you wanna use. And all that's gonna do is give you an embed code that you are gonna drop in. So if you wanted to use the L site widget, you would just add your section, add a code block here. And within that code block, just paste in that embed code they give you right there and it'll appear in that section. Pretty simple, um, hope you enjoy.